have hand weights under my chair. I have a water bottle. Drink water whenever you want. Have a seat. And I say this every class, but we often need reminders. Feet are flat on the floor. Toes are pointing straight ahead. Now, once you're there, let's take our arms by our side. Roll your shoulders back. There's your shoulder roll. Use that to take a few big breaths. Inhales here. Big reach up. Take an inhale. Exhale, blow it out. We do this two more times. Reach up. Blow it out. One more time. Big inhale all the way up. Bring your hands to your lap. We're moving our neck. Look over your right shoulder. Neck stretch. Shoulders stay to the front. Look over your left shoulder. Again, shoulders front, just your head turns. Do that again. Turn to the right. Look to the left. Look to the front. Drop your chin to your chest. Tap your chin to the ceiling. One more time. Chin comes down. Chin goes up. Look straight ahead, add your cow cat, lift your chest, inhale, chin to chest, round through your spine. We do move our head or neck here, but I want you to think about getting the movement between your shoulder blades all the way down to your low back. This is keeping our spine fluid. Inhale as you lift up. Exhale as you round down. Finish this. Sit up tall. Open your arms to the side. Lift your chest. Take an inhale. Hug a big ball as you exhale. Open your chest as you inhale. Hug a ball as you exhale. Chest opens with an inhale. Hug as you exhale. This time, open. Sweep your hands all the way back to your chair. Lift your chest, bigger opening. Hands to the side, hug a big ball. Clasp your hands, now flip your palms to the front. Open between your shoulder blades. Slide the hands up, release your fingertips. Drop the right hand, give yourself a stretch here, open up. Fingertips go up, drop the left. Fingertips go up, open to the side, sweep the right arm across. You're gonna open up the shoulder. Here's the other side, open and sweep. Let's do that again. Open your arms, sweep the right arm. Open, sweep the left arm across. Open up, drop the left arm, sweep the right arm up. Side stretch, lengthen. Switch sides, left arm goes up. There's your lengthening. Do that one more time each side. Up. And here's the other side. Arms can come down. Take your shoulder roll. Take it right into shoulder shrugs. You're going to slide your shoulders up to your ears. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Slide it down. Slide up. Squeeze together. Slide down. Now think about moving your shoulder blades up and down your back. There's one more time. Now bring your arms up to goal post. Here's your goal post and a little squeeze of your shoulder blades together here. A little bit more opening. Feet are still flat, knees are still forward. And there's the little squeeze. It's a small movement. We don't need to make it big. Just a small little squeeze, release. Think, strengthen the upper back. So great for our posture. Right here, cross your arms in front and take a little twist to the right. Gentle twist to the left. Lower body's not moving. This is mobility for the upper body. Let's do that one more time on each side. Bring our attention to our lower body. Lift your right leg just enough to add some ankle circles. Big or small, the circles go around. Change direction. 
set the foot down. Here's the other side. Circle it around. Circle it around. Hug the right knee into your chest. A little lower left. There's the hug. Switch sides. Again, lift. Maybe it's a little, maybe it's a lot. You know what is best for you. Let's do that again. Give yourself that hug here, big or small. There comes the other side. Feet open up a little bit wider, hands are on your thighs. It circles with your upper body. Take it around again. Where does it feel best? Now this is a mobility exercise. We want it to feel good. Change direction. And you might notice maybe one direction feels better than the other. Couple more, taking it around. Finish this, keep your hands on your thigh, slide forward, drop the right shoulder. That's your upper back mobility. Bring it to center, drop the left. Let's do that one more time on each side, drop the right. Feel the movement in your upper back. Drop the left. We are going to take a little forward fold. Now, maybe you're down on your forearms. If you want to reach down further, go for it. I, As you know, I stay up higher. It is my preference. You go where it works for you. You start bringing yourself all the way up. You can slide your legs in here. Feet are going out in front of you. Toes are going towards the ceiling. Arms in front. Drop the feet down. Pull the arms back. Little upper lower body movement together and push for your chest, pull for your back. And now you lift the toes, shins and calves, ankle movement. One more time, keep your elbows by your side, feet can slide back in and you're gonna take your palms up, reach out and bring them in. Reach out, bring it in. There's your out and in, out and in. Keep them in right here, palms face front, and here comes your internal, external. Little more movement for your shoulders. This is all working on mobility today, getting that movement through all these different areas. You'll do one more here, and then let your arms come down. Lift the right leg, left arm goes up. Set it down, switch sides, right arm, left leg. I want you to think about sitting up tall as you do this. Engage the core, move the arm and leg together. Strengthens our legs, our hip flexors, our core. Four, three, Two, hands are on your lap. It is your cow cat. Lift your chest, inhale. Drop your chin to your chest, round through your spine. Take a couple more of these. Lift and round. Here's your up. Now we are going to come back into arm and leg movement. Take your fingertips up towards the ceiling. Drop the left arm, lift the right knee. Now we're still doing arm leg, but as you may have noticed, when we switch our starting position, you might have to focus a little bit more on moving the arm and leg together. Four more to go. Four. Three, two, and now march it out right here. Bring your arms down, add your march. Remember your options. You could keep the toes down. You could march a little bigger. I'm adding bicep curls. The bicep curls are really for your elbow joint movement, getting some movement in all of our joints here. Arms go to the side, keep your march, big or small. Little side raises, taking the arms up to the side. 
little core engagement here as you do this. Overhead press, you're gonna take your arms up. And now press your arms down. We're gonna bring our arms by our side and I want you to think press back. The palms are in and you're gonna press your arms back. There's your down and down. Four, three, two. Relax your arms and just tap your toes back. So a little tap back, tap back. So a little work possibly for the hamstrings, just maybe you're feeling it more in the front of the leg. I know if you've had knee surgery, sometimes you can feel that tightness in your knee as you tap back. There comes your last one right here. And you're gonna go ahead, and we're gonna work on our core some before we stand up. Feet are flat. We're gonna cross our arms in front. You're gonna pull in the belly. And you're gonna add the lean forward. This is that little hinge forward, think of a string, pulling the top of your head away from your tailbone. And that means you have to engage your core a little bit more. Now we sit up tall and lean back. Remember core strength. If at any time you feel this in your low back, I need you to sit up tall. Sit up tall, add the lean forward. Listen to your body here. At no point do we push this where we have discomfort or pain in your back. This is a core exercise. Yes, you might feel work in your hip flexors. We often use our hip flexors when our core needs a little bit more training. Sit up tall, add your lean to the front. Here comes the lean to the back. I'm gonna have you hold it here. Reach your fingertips out. Now, if that feels like too much for your body, keep your arms crossed. We're gonna open the arms up to the side and it changes it. Please, please, please pay attention to where you're feeling the work. And four, three, two, sit up tall. Hands are on your thighs. Take a little lean forward so you can give yourself a good stretch right here. Bring yourself all the way up. I am gonna bring us into our chair squats. And that means we're gonna stay sitting. If you want more challenge, you stand up when we do this. Push into your feet, bring yourself up and take it back down. Otherwise, if you wanna stay with me, we're gonna push the feet into the floor. I am pushing so hard. I am trying to get the floor to move away from me. You should feel your thighs working. You should feel your glutes. Really push down for four, three, two. Relax here, hands go outside your thighs. Resist, there's that resist. Now I'm trying to get you to work the outside of your hips, outside of your thighs and chest and arms. Resist, resist. Let's do that again. Chair, push down. That's a squat, I know we're sitting on a chair. This is the squat. Push your feet down, push your feet down. Like I said, if you need a bigger challenge, stand up as you take this squat and bring it down. We're gonna hold this for four, three, two, relax. Hands come outside your thighs. Resist, try to open. Now you might need to mentally focus on what you're working. We're working the outside of the glutes and the outside of the thighs. I say that because sometimes when we don't know where to focus our attention, we don't get the move quite right. It's an isometric move. It looks like we're doing nothing, but you're working. And go ahead, relax it right there. Shake it out a little bit. Give yourself a little bit of a shake. If your water is under your chair, grab a sip of water. We're getting ready to stand. If your, if your water is up, go ahead, grab your water. We're gonna start with some marching. It's a chance to loosen up the legs after doing our chair squat. Marching is also balance work. More challenging, the higher you lift your knees, the more work, more balance you're going to take. You could also pump your arms when you do this. You could keep it small. You can make it big. From the march. 
far enough behind your chair, we're going to step up and over. Again, this is your balance of working side to side. Your feet can stay a little bit lower if that feels better today. I'm going to step up and over. I'm going to push my arms to the front as I go up and over. This can be a challenge because we're pushing our arms in a different direction than what our feet are going. We're going in two different planes of movement. There's your up and over, up and over. And we're working on balance, up and over. Let's do this one more time to each side. We're going to return to our march. Right here's your march. You could stay here for your march. I am gonna march on my toes if that works for you now. I get it, if you have bunions, if you have foot problems, you're not gonna wanna march on your toes, then keep your march on your feet, or flat on your feet. We're gonna march on our heels, lift your toes. Now that it's working the opposite, and you have to squeeze your glutes. We don't wanna push our bum back. We wanna stand nice and tall. And then march flat footed right there is your march, 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 march. We're gonna practice our tight rope, walking forward back today. If that is not for you, you could hold it or walk against the wall, walk by your chair if you need the extra. Otherwise, here's your tight rope, walk forward and your tight rope, walk backward. We're gonna do this, use the space you have. <laughs> Thank goodness for walls and chairs right here. Now, if you need more, you could look over the shoulder in one direction. When we look in a different direction when we're walking, you might notice more challenging. Uh, we probably have one side more favored than the other. Finish your tightrope walk. We'll all meet next to the chair. When you get there, add some hip circles. Relax a little bit here. Take it around, take it around. Take it in the other direction, moving your hips around. You can always go faster than me, bigger, smaller. Keeping some movement in your low back, your hips. Next move is going to be our double step touch to this side. Start with a double step touch, get a feel for it. And then step cross if that works for your hips. Maybe you cross your arms in front, maybe not. That just depends what feels good for you. Use the space you have. If you can take longer steps, Go for it. We go back and forth one more time. I'm bringing us into our rocking boat, meaning knee, hamstring, knee. Set yourself up, you lift the knee, shift your weight, lift the heel. Now I'm doing the big movement. You could have, right here, I'll show you smaller. It could be your toe tap back, toe tap forward. Is rocking boat meaning rocking horse. They shift your weight forward back. And that's something we do all day long. You're shifting your weight front and back. I am going a little bit slower. The faster you go, you might find it's a little bit easier. Now we do have to switch sides. So this time, bring the leg that was behind forward. The knee goes up, you lift the heel. Again, keep in mind, it could be a tap. It could be a tap. Different days, our balance can be different. So keep in mind, if you feel wobbly today and you're not usually wobbly, maybe it's something to do with your vision. Maybe it's something to do with your hearing. When your hearing is off, it'll make you less balanced. 
a little bit more dehydrated, you're going to get a little more wobbly. And if your legs are tired, if you already did exercise today and your legs are a little tired, your balance will be a little more wobbly. Finish that. Shake it out. Bring yourself behind your chair. I like to bring in side lunges. That's where we're going. And I like to do that to get that movement side to side. We live in a very forward back world. We spend a lot of time going forward back, but we also always want to keep our strength and our skill set to go side to side because that happens in life too. Now think of little hinging, meaning your hips slide back. That is important so you don't put all the weight in your knee joint. We don't want our knee joint doing the lifting and lowering. We want to use these big muscle groups in our butt, in our thighs. This is your last one. It's a stretch. Toes are going to face the front. I am holding on to the chair. I did adjust my feet. I brought my feet in a little bit closer today. Feet wide, feet further apart, all of that changes where you feel the stretch. We're giving ourselves a stretch down the back of our thighs here. If you're more flexible, you probably will go deeper. If you're tighter in your hamstrings, which also means you're usually a little bit tighter in your low back, just keep it a little bit higher. Make this stretch feel good. Start bringing yourself up, soften your knees, go slow. That's so you don't get dizzy. We're going to bring our feet in. We're going to meet next to our chair. I want us to balance on one leg at a time. 15 seconds for each one right here. Knee lift when you're ready, toes down or up. Find a focal spot. There's your hold. Use this core to balance. Set the foot down. Here comes the other side. Maybe toes. And then once you're there, hold it here. Five, four, three, two, and one. We take the foot behind this time. So here's that toes down or up. And balancing like this also strengthens our ankles. If you're having ankle issues, you might be noticing it when you try to balance. Foot goes down, take it to the other side, toes down or up. Helps if you find the focal spot in front of you and one that isn't moving. Three, two, set it down, take some leg swings. I'm gonna hold on to my chair for this. A leg swing is really meant mobility for your hip. So that's why I hold on so I don't worry so much about my balance, but I can really just enjoy the forward back swinging. Change legs, lucky for me, I have a wall. I'm gonna hold the wall on the other side. You can keep holding onto your chair. There comes your back and forth, back and forth. Set the foot down. I do want to work outer and inner thigh. Chair can be nearby. We're going to extend, take the leg out to the side, and then I'm going to have you squeeze it across the front. Now, heel leads on the way out. Squeeze with your inner thigh across. There's your out and across. Keep standing up tall on the standing leg, and I know that leg is working as well. There's your out and across. Heel leads out, arch across. Out, across. Take it out, across. Two more on this side. One more time. Finish that one, set the leg down. I'm gonna come over to the other side of my chair so I have room to move my leg. Set yourself up. There's your out, squeeze it across. 
out, squeeze it across. Out, squeeze it across. Out, squeeze it across. Five more. Five, four, three, two. Here's your last one. Set the foot down. Shake it out, little shake, shake, shake. Little march right here, just a tiny little march. We're gonna march a little bit wider. Take your feet out wider. Take your toes out a little bit, plant your feet. Little squats. You're gonna take your hips, press them back, and then bring it up. Let's bring our hands in front of our chest. Try and keep your chest up as you move your hips back and down. Keep it smaller if it bothers your back, your hips, your knees. Keep it, say, a small little squat down. So you could keep it small. And here's your small version. Maybe you want to take it a little bit bigger. So you squat down. We try to keep the chest lifted. You want to move through your hips. Four more. Four. Three, two, one more time. Keep yourself up right here. Shake it out. Have a seat on your chair. Grab a sip of water. I'm going to do one more leg exercise. We're going to do a strengthener here. Then we'll start using our weights. We're going to do leg lifts. Starting with the leg bent, this is your option one. Right leg only, stay on the right side. It's your lift right here. Tap it down, lift, and tap. See if you can keep your upper body still. We sometimes have a tendency to let ourselves lean back each time we lift the leg. See if you can keep your upper body still, sitting tall as you lift and lower. It is quadricep. It is also going to catch your hip flexor. There's your last one on this side. And now you take it on the other side. Lift the leg, tap it down. Lift the leg, tap it down. You might notice one side stronger than the other, usually is on most of us. Again, we want to make sure we keep sitting up tall. There's four, three, two, one more time. Foot goes down. We're going to repeat this one more time. Straight leg, as long as it works for you. If it doesn't, keep the knee lift. And there's the lift and lower. Not worried about how you how high you lift the leg up. I just want you to feel some work happening through your quadricep. Same idea. Torso stays up nice and tall. Halfway there. Five. Four. Three. Two. Set the foot down, switch sides. If you felt a little burn, rub it out, wrap it out. Here's the other side, leg bent or straight, lift and lower. Uh, adjust where your foot is. So sometimes if it's straight ahead, you're like, ooh, it doesn't feel right in my hip. Kind of change where the leg is. That's going to come into your anatomy on where it's most comfortable. You have four to go, four, three, two, last one, make it good, set it down, here's your tap. Now before we grab the weights, I'm going to have you stretch out the quadriceps and the hips. Come to this side of your chair, I'm going this way, so set yourself up, we just use the quadricep, we use the hip flexor. Use this stretch to get a big lengthening, and it should feel good. No pain. We, this is a stretch. This is about lengthening. 
Bring the arm down. Take it over to the other side. We'll get into the weights in just a second, but because we just did this leg work, it often just feels good to stretch out the front of the thigh, the hip, before we move on. And relax the side, bring the leg in. Now we'll grab our weights. We're gonna go right into those rows. One weight in each hand. We will do a 15 count for our reps. Far enough forward on your chair, feet flat, arms by your side. Pull the belly in, add your lean forward. Now you pull and you release. Little side note, I forget to mention this. If you like to squeeze your weights really tight with your hands, see if you can relax your grip a little bit. Now, one way to do that is put your thumbs out to the front rather than wrapping the thumb around the weight. That way you can focus more on the muscle group that's doing the work versus gripping the weight so tightly. That's for every exercise using weights. We want to watch our grip. Four, three, two, one more time. And now carefully, bring yourself up. We're going right into side raises today. I'm going to take it out to the side and bring it down. Now, right here, my elbows are bent. It feels better for me. But if you want to have your arms out straight, go for it. Keep in mind, elbows lead. Bring the elbows up, bring it down. We'll only do 10 for shoulder work, smaller muscle group. Three to go here. Three. Two. Bicep curls here. Right here comes palms to the front, and there's your lift, and slow it down. Lift, slow it down. The slow down, very intentional, so you control the weight as it goes down. That is where the effort happens. Ten more. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Overhead press, here we go. Bring the arms up. Now my palms face front, it's more comfortable for me. Feel free to have your palms face in. Changes the direction of your shoulders. Might feel better for your shoulder joint. Five more. Also, a little diagonal in front of you might feel better than going straight overhead. Three, two, bring your arms down, and now we're gonna press our palms back. Lean forward, add your press, and release. Press, release. Little lift, bring it down. Lift, bring it down. Five more here. There's five, four, three, two. One more exercise for your upper back. This is when we take our weights diagonal, lift them up, bring it down. Lots of core because we're taking the weights away from the body. The muscles I want you to focus on when you lift and lower, upper back, think your 
scapula area as you lift it up and down. We want to have control of the weight. If this is uncomfortable with the weights, set them down. Do this just your hand movement. Five, four, three, two, one more time. Make it a good one. Lift it up. Bring it down. Set your weights down underneath your chair. Grab a sip of water. And I'm gonna do our Y, W movement for our upper back, and then we'll stretch everything out. Fingertips go up. You're making a Y, lengthen. Pull down. You're making a W. Y as you lengthen. W, resist, pull down, upper back strengthener here. These are so great for our posture. We want to keep our upper back strong. We want to keep our low back strong. We want to keep everything strong. This is the one that keeps us upright, though. We want to, rather than rolling forward, rounding in the upper back, these are the exercises that are going to help strengthen those muscles to keep us standing tall. Two more to go. A Y and a W is a Y. Keep your arms down, relax them by your side. Give yourself a big shoulder roll, roll the shoulders up. Go right into your hamstring stretch. Let, right leg goes out. I like to support myself on my thigh. That doesn't mean you do. You might like to reach all the way down. Only you know what you're feeling when you do each of these stretches. The goal is to stretch the hamstring. Not everybody feels it in the hamstring, and you might feel it more in your foot or your lower leg. Drop the foot down. There's this change, a little more stretch through the shin. Bring it up, switch sides. Toes up as you lean forward. Uh, and sometimes we don't feel it in our hamstrings because we let our hips kind of rotate when we put the leg out. If you keep them a little bit straighter and you think of that hinge movement, you might be able to get a better stretch down the thigh. Drop the bottom of the foot down. Start bringing yourself up. We're gonna open up our feet wide. Come down to your forearms. Stretch here. You might feel a nice inner thigh stretch. You might feel a nice stretch uh, in your hips. Drop the right arm, sweep it around, and increasing the stretch, get it down the, think, lats. We just did a lot of that upper back work. Reach the leg out. Now, a little bit more lengthening right here. If you need more, kind of open your chest to the ceiling. Slide the leg in, drop the arm down. We have the other side, arm sweeps around, chest opens, foot can walk out, and then make any adjustments. Maybe going this way, you get the stretch in a spot. Opening your chest is a little bigger stretch, but that doesn't mean it's better. It just changes where the stretch is happening. Leg slides in, arm comes down. Right here, drop the right arm against the left. Sweep the left arm up. Now you might be in a twist. Halfway, bigger, bigger, bigger. You listen to your body on this one. Big twist are not good for everybody. You should know if twisting is appropriate for your spine or not. You wanna stay healthy. Bring the arm down, take it a little deeper forward fold. Again, you know I keep my head up higher, but you're more than welcome to drop your head all the way down. Slowly bring yourself up so you don't get dizzy. You can bring your feet in, hug the right leg in, 
I'm taking this right into a figure four, meaning ankle over the thigh. I then adjust my bottom leg where it works. If you are not meant to do this because of a hip, then keep your feet straight, maybe cross the ankles, but even then sometimes that doesn't feel good. Once you're there, we're gonna finish crossing the leg. Sit up tall, add your twist. Bring yourself back to the front. I'm across the top leg, here comes the other side. I like to start with a hug, check it out, see how it feels. Maybe you take the ankle over, maybe you don't. Then you might adjust the bottom leg to find that perfect spot. It's a stretch. We're not going for pain and we're not seeing if we can stretch ourselves till we bring tears to our eyes. Just finding a pretty spot where you feel a little tension. Bring yourself up. Now, if it's appropriate, you would cross your legs. If not, you could have your legs next to each other. The twist though, again, not everybody is supposed to twist. You're, you're picking and choosing what moves are best for you. Bring it to the front on cross. Here comes your cow cap one more time. We did the twisting. Here's your chance to get the movement through each vertebrae. Finish this one here. And then once you're there, sit up tall. Go to stretch. Arm goes behind your back. We've been doing this for years. That just sounds crazy to me. Drop the ear. If you want to start walking the hand up between your shoulder blades, go for it. As a side note, as we age, lift your head, switch sides. As we age, maintaining where we were last year, the year before, the year before that means we are making gains. Be nice to yourself. Gaining as we get older means maintaining where we were the year before. Lift your head, relax your arm, take a big shoulder roll. Take your arms out to the side, give yourself a big hug, drop the elbows, drop the chin. Look straight ahead, open your arms. Here is the other side, hug, elbow drop, Chin. Look straight ahead. Open your arms, drop them, take a big shoulder roll. Side stretch, reach this arm up, lengthen the side of your body. Here's the other side, arm goes up, stretch the side of your body. Bring the arm down, big inhales. Reach all the way up as you inhale, blow it out as you exhale. Reach up, big inhale, blow it out, exhale one more time, big inhale, all the way up. Exhale, blow it out. And thank you all very much. Happy Tuesday. I'll see you Thursday.